Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, and today I am reacting to Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring Extended Edition. I decided to do the Extended Edition because I really like the details of things. I like the lore. I like the, the information that you guys give me and all the other reactions that I do. Intricate details. I want to know all of it. And I feel like with the Extended Edition, I'm going to get more of that. I just want to see everything that they have to offer. Also, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. This is a pretty new channel. I just started about two months ago. But I've been having so much fun with it. I've been reacting to Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, uh, Django. I have a lot of other things in the works too down the line. But I like to leave it up to my community to vote on what I should watch. So I hope you guys stick around and maybe check out some of my other reactions as well. But thank you for being here and uh, I hope you enjoy the reaction. I will also be splitting this movie into two parts uh, because it is so long. I think it'll be hard to fit it all into one video. It will be a two-parter. Uh, this is part one. Part two will also be out this week. I'm not 100% sure when, but if you're seeing this, you know, when this video comes out, it shouldn't be too long. So now before I get into it, I will address. I've mentioned this before in my other reactions, but growing up, I was not a fan of fantasy. I could not stand watching anything related to fantasy with magic or dragons or and Lord of the Rings fell into that category for me. But I have sat down and watched, I would say, probably half of this movie. So I let you guys choose if you wanted me to watch it and you decided to. So I'm going to take another crack at this series. But yeah, guys, I don't have much else to say. If you guys want to see the full length reaction to this, it'll be on my Patreon. Link is in the description. I also have full length reactions to Game of Thrones, my Harry Potter reactions, and a couple other movies. So you definitely want to check that out. Not only does it help support me and the channel, but it gives you a few benefits as well. And if you guys don't mind, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any reactions from me. It would mean so much to me. It really does help. Guys, get your drinks, get your snacks. Let me know in the comments what you're drinking or snacking on. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we go. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, extended edition, and it is almost four hours. I think this might be the longest movie I've ever seen in my life. Much that once was is lost. Okay. Very poetic, but dark. It began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves. Seven Immortal. To wow. the dwarf lords. Nine rings were gifted to the race of men. What the heck? Why did the elves only get three? In the fires of Mount Doom, the dark lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. He just wanted to make the best ring ever, and then he was able to make it. What's the lore behind that? I know there's some lore behind that. A last alliance of men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor. They fought for the freedom of Middle Earth. Wow, we're getting right into battle. All right. That was a really cool shot. Oh my God, this guy's insane. He's like glowing. What? The ring gives you like magic? That Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. Uh, he tried. Holy shit. Just like that? Dude turned into a bomb after he got his finger cut off? And for two and a half thousand years, the ring passed out of all knowledge. It ensnared a new bearer. That was probably like the best 2,500 years they've ever had in their whole existence. It consumed him. So he became like addicted to the ring and it turned him into a little... Whatever the... What would you call this? I don't even... It was picked up by the most unlikely creature imaginable. Wow, so it's been passed down like four times in the last, what, not that long? Eridor. Eriador. It's a beautiful name. Sundering Seas. Dave Belfort. That reminds me of like Game of Thrones names. Hobbits. Hobbits, yeah. Being neither renowned as great warriors, nor counted among the very wise. Oh, dude, do that off camera. What are you doing? But where our hearts truly lie is in peace and quiet. Yeah, if I could say one place, about, one thing about this place, it would be that it does look peaceful. God, imagine just sitting there writing in the 
forest. Anyone that does that in real life, you're amazing. Keep doing it. That's Gandalf, right? I know those two names, Frodo and Gandalf. That's it. <laughs> A wizard is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> That's so good. I'm gonna start using that. Bilbo's been a bit odd lately. He spends hours and hours pouring over old maps when he thinks I'm not looking. He needs a companion. Bilbo Baggins. Dear God, no. Good to see. The height difference is crazy. You haven't aged a day. He almost looks suspicious for a second. Like, why or how? Me when my Uber Eats or DoorDash arrives. I need a holiday. And I don't expect I shall return. Oh. That kind of holiday, huh? This will be a night to remember. Oh my god. Imagine fireworks like that. Go on, Sam. I'll scroll you for a dance. I think I'll just have another rail. That's what it feels like. It really does. Like, yeah, maybe I thought about it. Uh maybe not. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. No, no, the big one, big one. Hey, if you're gonna steal, do it like that. I'm joking, I don't condone any type of stealing. Done. Oh my god, look at that. Look out for the dragon! Dragon? Nonsense, says me the dragon in these parts for a thousand years. <laughs> Not that type, but still pretty cool. Still very fiery. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine seeing that in real life. That was good. Let's get another one. <laughs> <laughs> he stole from the wrong guy, but it was worth it, I think. I have things to do. Is that ring, right? What is he like? Oh wait, he's leaving. I'm going now. I bid you all a very fond farewell. Bye. Have they, uh, wait a second. Did he just expose magic to them? Or have they seen stuff like this before? Probably not, right? But also, now they think he's just like on the good stuff. The super rare, extra special good stuff. Because how did he do that in their eyes? I suppose you think that was terribly clever. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, you're probably right, as usual. Did the other magic rings make you disappear or just this one? What do the other ones do? I don't feel like parting with it. It's mine. I found it. It came to me. There's no need to get angry. Well, if I'm angry, it's your fault. All right, dude, you can have it. It's all yours. You want it for yourself. Bravo, Baggins! Do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. Wow. Scary. I'm trying to help you. This is like a really good metaphor for like struggling with something in real life and someone really trying to help you out of it. And the power that thing has on him. You see how heavy that thing was? It's like a rock. It just it didn't even bounce around and wow. Why it's no bueno. <laughs> what? Someone's cat got way too close to the camera for a second. There's some things that I must see to. What things? Questions. Questions that need answering. He's trying to figure this all out. That's what I'm like all the time. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Will do. But why and how? Oh my god, this movie's beautiful. The one ring. All those who follow in my bloodline shall be bound to its fate. So that guy wrote that? It is precious to me. Precious? Like, the other guy said that. Oh my god, their feet are insane. On the table, too? Got Tarzan feet. Hey, you left the window open, bro. Or you got robbed. Fine line between those two. I don't know. The... Oh my god. Okay, wait. I missed something. How did the writer person know who... He said Daggins, right? And he was looking for him? So why? How did he get that name? Awoken. It's heard its master's call. But he was destroyed. Oh, 
Dude, he just answered you. The spirit of Sauron endured. In the ring? Life force is bound to the ring, and the ring survived. Oh, so that's how it was like popping off people's fingers. It was like, ah, you're not the finger for me. I looked everywhere for the creature Gollum, but the enemy found him first. Oh. I don't Oh, okay. <laughs> it's that easy, I guess. I was really like, how'd they know? I'm okay. giving it to you. Don't tempt me, Frodo. Yeah, because he might be like too powerful to have it, right? Oh my God, look at this shot. Is it safe? Never put it on, for the agents of the Dark Lord will be drawn to its power. But what's his name put it on? So is that why they were like coming for it? Because he like set off some alarm or something? Also, I have a really like I have a thing for great shots in camera work, photography, videography, movies. This movie's doing all of it very well. It's very pleasing to the eyeballs. Come on, Sam. He has the most calming voice ever. He said that to me, I'd be like, all right, let's go. They're glowing. But his spirit has lost none of its potency. Concealed within his fortress, the Lord of Mordor sees all. You're talking a little bit too, like, positive about him. Very soon he will have summoned an army great enough to launch an assault upon Middle-earth. I have seen it. A Palantir is a dangerous tool, Saruman. This guy is rubbing me the wrong way. We do not know who else may be watching. Okay. We're in the wrong house. This is not our house. We want to get out. We're in the wrong house, but that doesn't mean you can just lock us in, okay? We must join with Sauron. <laughs> what a sales pitch. It's pretty good, actually. When did Saruman the wise abandon reason for madness? Come on, hit him with a nature stick. Fight back. This is how the fights at the retirement homes look. I'm. This is a joke, okay? It's a joke. Relax. Oh wait, is he? Did he survive that, dude? Why'd you go there? You didn't know. You didn't have any suspicion of that guy. That he lives in a giant black tower. With spikes on it. That wasn't a giveaway. Sam, we're still in the Shire. What could possibly happen? Oh, those are the firework twins. Or brothers. <laughs> this is like the three stooges. Add one. The four stooges. Mushrooms. Are we talking food or are we talking Mushrooms. I think we should get off the road. The nature is zooming in to you. I think you should do what you're doing. Whenever you start zooming into nature, that's the sign. We're just chilling. Don't mind us. You got some nails in your hopes to warn, let you know. Yeah, that'd be me. I'd be like, yo, listen, I can't. I got to. Phase out for a few minutes. Why are you even... Is it the bugs or just... Uh, maybe the closer those things get to it, it's like uh, strengthens the power of the ring. And that's why I almost put it on. I don't know. Sam and I must get debris. Right. Follow me. <laughs> when he said Sam and I, I thought he meant... I thought he said salmon. And I was like, Sam and I, huh? Nice. Track star. Is that the, the horse making that sound or the guy? That scream is crazy. So if someone could explain why the humans got nine rings, I think the dwarves got seven and the elves got three. Why? What's the diff? Like, is there just, there was only nine or there was nine human lords? We're friends of Gandalf the Grey. Can you tell him we've arrived? Oh, yes. I remember. <laughs> Not seen him for six months. Oh, uh, yeah. He's at wherever he's at. Satan Tower. Is it paint? It comes in paints? Oh, 
I'm getting one. You got all half already. <laughs> the sensible friend at the table. That man in the corner. Who is he? He's one of them rangers. Around here, he's known as Strider. Uh, so he's not one of those evil things with the. No, okay. He's like a dude. He's over there. Blew the entire thing. The whole operation. We told you everything, didn't we? We're underhill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not supposed to do that. I see. There is no life. Oh, that guy speaks English. What the f Oh god. What do you want? A little more caution from you. That is no trinket you carry. I carry nothing. He knows it? Let it go! I'll have you, long shanks! <laughs> right. You can no longer wait for the wizard, Frodo. They're coming. He <laughs> just put his sword away. He's like, look, guys, whatever. Anyways, continuing my conversation from before. I mean, it was a little much. Could have just knocked. Guys. Are they not in there? Okay, yeah. They knew. He knew. Okay, those are like the ultra fiends. They're like in between reality and death. That's insane that they're that connected to it. We have no choice but to trust him. But where is he leading us? Rivendell, Master Gamji, the house of Elrond. He heard everything they were saying. So he's an he's a human bringing them to the elves. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Second breakfast. I've been asking the same question for a while. Luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. He knows about them, doesn't he? Isn't dinner in certain places considered like lunch? The power of Isengard is at your command, Sauron, Lord of the Earth. Got them wizard nails. I got that ball's crazy. Build me a army worthy of Mordor. Mordor. That sounds like the evilest name you could think of. Mordor. On top of that, I thought he died like when he hit the ceiling. The trees are strong, my lord. It's that one store. They sell like, oh, Hot Topic. Yeah, he shops at Hot Topic. 100%. These are for you. Keep them close. I'm going to have a look around. You just happen to have four small swords? Convenient. Oh, they probably robbed him or something. Sausages, nice, crispy bacon. We saved some for you, Mr. Frodo. Put it out, you fools! Put it out! That's nice! Oh, yeah. What are you guys doing? First you to say his name, now you're literally showing them right where you are. Oh my god. Those are like basically Sauron's best friends. And they're right next to you. And it's gonna be... They see you. Oh my god. Are they like a million years old? Is fire the only way to kill these guys? Because I feel like they're like invisible or ghosts or something. Or skeletal. I don't know. Oh no, that's right. He said they're in between living and dead. Yeah. There you go. It got stuck in his face. It's beyond my skill to heal. He needs Elvish medicine. Oh god. You guys are on foot? These things were right next to the tower when you showed up to the tower? And you were like, yeah, this guy's probably cool. This whole crevice of evil ants was working hard and you were like, hey, what up, friend? He speaks mothish. Dope. Oh my god. Oh, they're mass producing. It's like a weapon factory. 
What is that, dude? I don't want to know what that is. What in the... Is that how these things are born? In the muddy womb thing? Dip him in oil real quick. Yikes, that's disgusting. What's this? A ranger caught off his guard. Oh. Oh, that that's gotta be the elves, right? They're glowy. We're hearing it, we're seeing it. We're just a little bit desperate in this moment. For some medicine or something. I like her. She seems helpful. Well, listen, you're fast, but they're pretty fast too. Uh oh, going green in the face. Yeah, now what? We're in two inches of water. Take that. Oh yeah, talk to that water. Oh, so they got powers and stuff. Flash flood of the horses. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so she was the pick over what's his name? Faster rider. Also, you can call like water instantly. That's pretty helpful too. He didn't mention that part before. Damn, she's already crying over you. She just met you. You have a chance, man. You have a chance. Last of <laughs> what? Just the giant face in the white? That was pretty funny. But did it work? Seemed like it worked. Gandalf. Yes, I'm here. Why didn't you meet us? Oh, I'm sorry, Frodo. He was in a tower. By your own fruition, okay, man? Throne side. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. This is torture. Oh my god, that thing is massive. I thought it was like the size of him. What? So you have chosen death. You could look at it like that, or you could look at it like he's gonna destroy you and everything you love. It's your choice. Welcome to Rivendell. Oh, it's the giant face guy. He's like the lead elf, I think. Is that Bilbo. his uncle? Frodo. What? How long have they been on the road? He looks 30 years older. Oh, is it because he doesn't have the ring anymore? Because it kept him old or young or something? The enemy is moving. Sauron's forces are massing in the east. His eye is fixed on Rivendell. And Saruman, you tell me, has betrayed us. Wait, the guy's name is Saruman? And the bad guy's name is Sauron? And you thought he was a good guy? What they wait? That's um Ned from the Game of Thrones, right? Because of men, the ring survives. Hey, yeah, you might be onto something though. I was there, Gandalf. I was there. Oh yeah, that was the guy that took it. He was a man, right? Yeah, they did kind of fuck everything up. The one place it could be destroyed. Destroy it! No. You're in the fiery pits of hell. Just throw the thing in the thing. You should have just pushed him in, to be honest. That is who could reclaim. Throne of Gondor. Ned? He's chosen exile. Ned chose exile too, and they killed him anyways. The shots of Narsil. Whoa, is that the blade that the guy stepped on? Dude, you did just drop the piece of lore from your entire universe and you're just gonna leave it there? You are a sealed door there. Wait, was that his dad that will face the same evil? Is that his dad? What? Okay, so he's like, this is like his mission. He was made for this. There's a big if here, though. We can break the mold, you know. Choose a mortal life. Perfect. She's giving him her life, immortality, or something. You've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. You got the elves, the humans, the dwarves, and the Hobbit. And they're all being sucked in. What is he saying? And who's he talking to? Oh, the that Sauron talking to them? 
Never before has any voice uttered the words of that tongue here in Imladris. This comes with like a thunderstorm. Why not use this ring? Okay, you're... You already failed. This is no mere ranger. He is Aragorn, son of Arath. You owe him your allegiance. Oh, I thought his other name... Or I thought his name was something else. So he's not that guy's son? This is Isildur's heir. That's right. That's what I thought. But his name is... His dad's name is Arathor? The ring must be destroyed. We've already pretty much agreed on that, I think. But how do we get to the fiery mountain of hell? Oh, wow. Things not messing around. There is evil there that does not sleep. Okay, what's your plan then? The ring must be destroyed. I suppose you think you're the one to do it. The elves are probably a better shot. Oh my God. This is too realistic. No more division. Central underlying theme of destroy this ring. Relieved or happy or scared? I will help you bear this burden. Nice. The original two, okay. If by my life or death, I can protect you. I will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he goes and then the elf and the dwarf, right? And you have my bow. Yeah. And my axe. <laughs> I like that. What do the hobbits have to offer? Mr. Frodo's not going anywhere without me. Oh, man. Oi! We're coming too! <laughs> Can't leave the best friends behind. You need people of intelligence on this sort of thing. <laughs> In Gandalf's face the whole time is like... You shall be the Fellowship of the Ring. Okay. Where are we going? <laughs> Dude. All right, guys, listen, that's going to be the end of part one. Uh, it's about halfway through. So uh, the writing, the music. Oh, my God, the music. I would say the music so far in this movie has probably matched or outmatched any music I've ever heard in any movie ever. The scenery, the shots of the scenery, it's just incredible. I'm a sucker for really, really good production. And so far, this is produced masterfully. Uh, there was one scene with the, the, the elf guy with the floating head in the white... <laughs> That was just a little, that was a little corny, but it was funny. And uh, I understand this is from early 2000s, so I'm not going to be too harsh. But but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I can't wait to see the rest. Yeah, so I just don't understand Gandalf making the decision to go to the other wizard guy's evil tower. Like, from my perspective, I see this giant black tower. It looks like it has spikes on it. It seems like an oversight from Gandalf's side of things. If I had to be honest, but you know, I'll, I'll give him that one. Maybe they just go way, way back. He just never thought that that guy would side with the most evil being in their world. I like that Ned is in it since I just watched the end of Ned basically in Game of Thrones the other day. So seeing him in something again is nice. It's refreshing. Frodo's extremely brave. Uh, stepping up to take the ring to Mordor. I mean, he's a hobbit, right? All these other people have war experience battle experience uh you know amazing skills in battle i'm assuming and they're all arguing amongst themselves and frodo's just like i'll do it you know um but they are small so maybe that could work to their advantage and if he ever needs to he could just pop it on for a second and you know go invisible but probably don't want to do that now that he knows like every evil being is basically connected to the ring and seeking it out every second and that the eye can see him when he puts it on the thing i'm trying to figure out is the eye when he got his finger chopped off where did his being go or where does his soul go in that moment like into the ring but then how was his eye preserved and like you know someone if someone could explain that like backstory of him a little bit in the comments i would appreciate it i like to know like really weird details of things i'm sure there's a lot of other questions that i had if, if i asked any questions in this reaction go ahead and try to answer them if you you know to the best of your ability if you want to i would really appreciate that one more thing i want to talk about is the the, the relationship that bilbo has with the ring in the beginning is extremely metaphorical to how I would see someone struggling with an addiction of some kind. The incessant need to have it, or when someone's questioning you or pushing you to deal with it, immediately, whoa, 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 like, no. Like, this is mine. What are you talking about? This is mine. I'm good. You're not taking this from me. Those kind of things, right? And I know this can be a touchy subject, and, you know, I would normally save this kind of talk for the very, very last part of my reaction where I talk about mental health and stuff related to that. It seemed like a very overarching theme throughout the movie so far, and I just wanted to address that that's what it made me feel like 
uh, when seeing that, I just immediately thought of myself dealing with struggles in the past and people that I know that have dealt with struggles like that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to continue watching the rest. The second part will be out probably in a few days, hopefully by the end of the week. The second part will be out probably in a few days, hopefully by the end of the week. Again, if you want to see full length reactions, check my Patreon in the description. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any reactions from me. If you are new here, how I end my reactions is by talking about mental health for a few minutes. So if you want to stick around for that, feel free. If not, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. You know, with this one, um, I like to take inspiration from what I've watched or how I'm feeling. And um, this one's kind of inspired me to talk about how when it comes to dealing with things that are very, very tough, whether personally or just in general, like a great achievement, usually you're going to need some help and sometimes a lot of help. For me, at least, I like to do things on my own. I haven't always been the most um, accepting of help from others or wanting to include a lot of different people and things. And again, like I mentioned in the beginning, this ring or this like addiction to the ring that Bilbo has tying together from what I mentioned earlier about addiction and the overarching theme of the movie now accepting support or help from other people to deal with things that we're going through. It kind of ties all together. You know, it takes you've heard the saying it takes a village to raise a kid or takes the village to raise a baby, something along those lines, right? I think you could say that about a lot of things and, and, and potentially dealing with something like this, like a struggle like this. You know, sometimes we just need to let people in. Sometimes people really want to help and they might not know how. And that's okay. They don't need to know how. It's really about the support in itself. It's really about being there and showing up. That in itself is more help than you probably imagine. Unless you know what I'm talking about, then you understand. Uh, just the effort the want to help, those things can can do more than you know. And if you know someone that is struggling with something like that, maybe yourself, maybe someone you know, I would encourage you or them or you to encourage them. You know, try to let people help you. Try to let people in and open your support system up. Open your support circle up. Don't be afraid to lean on someone. It doesn't feel the best to to have to rely on someone else or to to not be able to just do the thing we want to do ourselves or know that we have to ourselves. Sometimes it does sometimes it really does take some help. Sometimes there's no way around it. But yeah, guys, that's about it for me. Uh I'm really enjoying the movie so far. Way more in depth in a lot of different things than I expected. But yeah, guys, that's about it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, amazing rest of your week. And thank you for being here. I hope to see you on my next reaction. Take care.